thing in your dorm room? It would have to be that bear over there. I wasn't voice my friends got that for me because I was unseeing, but now I just use that as a pillow. I guess my book. I really like this book. It's called We Are Okay. I read it every single time I'm sad. My favorite thing in my room is probably my clothing rack, to be honest. Like, looking at this makes me really happy. Is there anything in your dorm room that you can't live without? Um, definitely my utility cart. This thing stores like everything I need on a daily basis. In my dorm room, since I live at Medsip, which is like a traditional room, mm -hmm. I guess it would have to be my shower caddy, but oh, you know, I see. showering easier. But mm -hmm. also this little contraption here. I use it as like a nightstand sometimes, but also it rolls, so I can like move it around. And oh, nice. Like... What's one item in your room that has like a really interesting backstory or Ooh. crazy backstory? Okay, these dogs. They're super cute, mm -hmm. but the first time I wore them, I was going to my bio lab, which is at North Campus. Like five minutes into my walk, my heels were literally killing me. So yeah, I haven't worn them since because I'm too scared. <laughs> Hopefully one day I can break them in. It's a little thing, one of my camp counselor people made me. This little guy, his <laughs> name is, I think it's Max, I forgot. I had him since I was born apparently, so it's like the oldest thing I've ever owned. And that's why it looks pretty messed up and mangled. And then there's this duck, um, I got it from my friend. I asked her to buy it for me when she went to Montreal. And it's supposed to be a lawyer duck. And I guess that's like my motivation for my future. Is there anything that you wish you could add to your dorm room? Mm, I honestly wish I had a bit more posters or like decoration. Like I know people have like LED lights. I wish I had like invested in them because they, I think they add a lot. And also just more things from home. Like just pictures for friends mm -hmm. and just more memories. That'd be nice. Decorations. Decorations. Make it more homey, yeah. What kind of decorations would you add? Maybe more plants. I like plants. Mm. Could you maybe introduce us to your closet situation? Yeah, so this is my closet. Okay. It's half black. Apparently all I wear. I got a walk-in closet. Wow, super fancy. Yeah, not much other resins can see the same. Um, it's pretty much just this. I can show you a little bit. What's one favorite thing in your closet right now? And a poster. Whoa. And I drew that heart. I guess I have this headband from Kelly. I'm so safe. I absolutely love this sweater. Whenever I want to, I feel lazy and I don't want to like dress up, I just <laughs> put it over. And it goes well with any like pants or like t-shirt I have. I really like this shirt. Exactly. And it's great time. Like it's a great shirt to go out with. Closet essential, I would probably say like something like this. Like I have another one. It's like a button-up. It helps like put an outfit together, but it's really comfy. What's one way you make your dorm room feel like home? Um, I actually keep a lot of photos that I like. Mm -hmm. um, I have my, actually this is my roommate and I. I have photos. I also have a lot of like K-pop stars or <laughs> K-drama. Cause I really like watching them. So it's kind of like, reminds me of my like interests. You know, bringing things from home can definitely make it feel like home. I would say my fairy lights. As soon as I added these, I didn't add them until like maybe a month in. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I added them, like, my room felt complete. It felt so much better. Love my pillows. It just makes my bed so much comfier and like I don't know how people sleep with only one pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I have like some fake plants, you know. That's about it. <laughs> can you tell me what's one favorite thing about the residence that you live in? Yeah, well I can actually show you. Let's start with this one. It would probably be the tunnels over here. So in the tunnels, there are everything you like piano rooms in there. It's how close and convenient everything is. Like, if I want to go get food, I just go downstairs. And the food is like nine out of 10 times really fun and good. I also like how like it's really close to like the actual campus. Classes, like, I just have to like take a 15 minute max walk and then I'm already on campus. I love socks because it's so big and like so many people live here. So a lot of my friends actually live here and like go to their rooms and like just chill overnight. It's like, what's like your favorite thing then about like the traditional style of resins? Um, definitely easy it is to meet people. I think that yeah, because like you always have to talk to people when you're in the washroom or like there's the lounge so it's really easy to meet people and like really chill. The cafe is 
pretty nice. This is our cow. realized that I would like make so many good friends so it's really nice to see like to be able to have such like a close bond like friend group and like be able to have like people to like go to if I have if I need help I'm just like surprised of, of like how much I like this place I really didn't think I would be okay with living here but it's like I've gotten used to it and like I really really liked it actually <laughs> It's not actually that bad because I thought med Civ being traditional and everything, sharing bathrooms would be like disgusting. Yeah. But it's really not. Would you have any piece of advice for any incoming first years to Sogin or just in general? Yeah, um, just like any incoming first years to any, like for any res, I would say like take advantage of what they offer. Um, different activities that they do different nights. Like some of them are actually really fun and they're a good way to meet people. One night, or like the first week back from winter break I think they had like a mechanical bowl in like the lounge. I think you get ready to meet a lot of new people. This place is in such like close proximity to everyone. Whenever you need something, you can just always like go across um, the hallway and ask them for it. Or like if you need like emotional support, you can also go across the hall. One thing coming into rest life, I was like really worried about a roommate situation. I didn't know if I would get a bad or good roommate, but I actually chose to do a single room which you guys saw. But now, like, sometimes, some nights it gets really lonely, so... <laughs> if you, like, decide on doing res, definitely try and get a roommate. Just go for it. Who mm. knows I, I do think that Obi is a great chance to make friends and, like, to get to know your floor mates. I would definitely go out and, like, like go out of your way to, like, bond with people. One of my closest friends, I met her because, like, she, like, just went up to, like, me and my roommate, like, spontaneously. And was like, oh, what are you guys doing? And it was just, like, a great way to meet her. And now I... Now we're stuck side by side like every single day. I think I'm codependent on her now. What's like been the most memorable thing from first year so far to you? So, yeah, I think definitely CSA. Um, there's like this one time where some of the first years on CSA, we just explored campus together at like past midnight. It was late, it was like 2 a.m. And we found this like little spot in Mustang Lounge, like this fireplace area where it was like enclosed with couches and everything. And we just studied there until like 4 a.m. or something. So I guess, yeah, just like hanging out with CSA. One of the most memorable experiences I would say from first year actually happened on this, in this hallway. Um, so my floor is playing assassin and then, so we were each given like a water gun. Mm -hmm. And then, so that night when we got the water gun, we literally just randomly started having a water gun fight. <laughs> we were literally all like running around just chasing each other with our water guns. That was, that was an interesting night. I think one of my favorite was like during Coco. Um, me and my friends, we went down to go bowling and we also went to get McDonald's and that night I was just like that was like a night when we were all together like not worried about like school or anything and just like hanging out eating good food good food always brings people together and I love me some good food obviously you're part of CSA how has that experience been for you this year yeah I'm so glad I took the step to like to join these extracurriculars and be on CSA because it's how I've met a lot of my friends it's how I've made a lot of memories and it's definitely helped me grow as a person. I love CSA, guys. You guys should definitely, I'm telling you, definitely join it. Like, CSA is actually one of my most memorable experiences. I think half the reason why I had such a good first year experience is because I am part of CSA. From CSA retreat to like, what's the voice. And can you describe in one word or one phrase what CSA means to you? Family. <laughs> family? I think also supportive, you know? Because I think that's what a family is and that's definitely what CSA is. Comfort. Bye. Bye bye. I hope to see you next year.